Hi, I'm here today with Linda Randall, the life change lady. And uh, it's Linda's been doing my tarot program recently and she's joined me today to just share her experiences. Um, but before we do that, Linda, I'm going to hand over to you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Linda. And as Kathy's just said, I'm known as the Life Change Lady and I work as a transformational life coach. Um, I specialise in supporting highly sensitive people and those people that have experienced emotional abuse. Um, but for the last three years, uh, life has been a little bit different for me. Um, I've been involved in quite a lot of therapy and recovery to get walking again. And life has been a challenge. So getting involved in the tarot program was an opportunity for me to focus on the challenges that I've been facing. Not just during my therapy, but also coming back to what is going to be my norm, new norm um, and getting my life back together, really. So it was a great opportunity for me to look at those things that I maybe wasn't aware of and to get some really good quality time where I could focus on me. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today here just to talk about it. You've answered pretty much all the questions <laughs> in one answer. So this is going to be a short one, which is great. <laughs> um, so what? first of all, though, what was it that um piqued your interest about doing the uh, coaching with me with and with tarot because it's something I've not been doing for that long but we've worked together before so what was it that you know about the tarot and how I was doing it this time okay so it was a, an opportunity I've, I've used tarot cards for quite a long time um and been on tarot courses to learn to use the tarot but it just doesn't really stick with me it kind of just floats out the window um so I'm aware and familiar with the cards, which was nice because it was something I was used to. It wasn't completely new. Um, as you said, we've worked together before, so I knew that I could trust you and be open and vulnerable in that space and feel supported. Um, it also gave me an opportunity to have a combination of words and images, which I find particularly useful for me when I'm processing stuff. It's really helpful. Um, and what else? It, it, it was a reflection of me in the moment rather than what somebody thought I was experiencing or should be experiencing, what you're getting is a reflection of my energy, which is really important because I don't think we always are aware energetically of what's going on for us, but we're very aware of what's going on in our heads. And I wanted to be out of the headspace and I wanted it to be about me and what was happening for me in that point. That's great. You've shared about that earlier about... Um some programs take you off down like a a blueprint path or, or whatever but and that this was something where you said you could really feel how it was touching you in that moment and see the, the hidden parts of yourself how has how has that um uh played out or brought results in in life as a result of doing this i i was experiencing some challenges around relationships um, and there were some things that I wasn't aware of where I was holding myself back. So I was actually limiting my own life experience because of what I felt was going on. And in actual fact, that wasn't what was going on because my head had got involved. So I really needed to know how the energy was playing out for me and what I needed to do about that. And then what I needed to do about that came between sessions when I'd had time to process the spreads that we'd had or that you'd taken um, and the information that came out of those spreads, because then I could go away and think about it. And I, as you know, love journaling, having written nearly half a book now. Um, but that's really useful for me because it's like a third person perspective on what's going on. So it's cleared a lot of emotional debris that was sort of hanging around and hadn't actually been sorted and, and moved on. So it's it's made my relationships a lot clearer. My under, my relationship with myself completely clearer um because it's not about thinking about other people it is thinking about me and what I need and where I need to go and what I need to do um and I think I was just getting in my own way as we do I mean it's a human thing isn't it really sure and I think especially for those who give a lot and um are very empathic uh, to actually look at something like this where you're learning about 
putting you at the center of your world and seeing all oh, what's happening for me in this where do I need to curtail my energy or wh where are the energy drains or you know it's, it's really useful isn't it well and, and it's having that time every week when you know that you're going to be focusing on yourself with somebody else's support so you've actually got this appointment with somebody it's an accountability thing that hour or time in that week is going to be my time how did it compare doing uh, work in this way with the tarot? How did it compare to previous tarot readings that you've had from with other people? I was going to say most people that read tarot have got an idea of what they want you to hear. So that's what they'll tell you. So it's it's their vision or perception of a card and how that plays out in your life. Whereas when we were going through spreads that you'd pulled for me you would question how that fitted into what I felt was going on at the moment so I may have given you a situation to to do the spread on but then you would actually come back to me so it was, it was definitely a two-way process it wasn't a one-way thing where I was sitting there just waiting to be told I was actually involved in what was happening so there's more alchemy going on in the process did it feel good to do that <laughs> I, I think so, because I don't, I think often, we, I know for me, I can get confused because there's such a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes I need that, that clarity and to get that from somebody else, because I can get very caught up in the energy and the emotion of, of a situation. So it's nice to get a sort of practical side to it, which is very much what the cards are saying, because they're, they're depicting what the energy is playing out. So if it's a major arcana, what that's likely to to be within that situation, if there's a key player, who that like who's that likely to be? How does that represent itself? Does that seem familiar? Does it fit with with what's going on in my life? So it's it's literally all about me, which mm -hmm. is lovely because it's very important to to be able to do that. Wonderful, thank you. So. Linda, what would you say was the well, well? First of all, what did you most enjoy, and secondly, what did you find most valuable? What did I most enjoy? I most enjoyed the moment the Wi-Fi went bang, <laughs> and I know it was like oh, I know that. Well, I know you got really angry. Um, bless you, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? And I kind of think, and I think I said to you at the time, maybe it's just the energy's not right. We're not supposed to be doing this, but it just reminded me that we're just human, really, aren't we? We're just part. <laughs> past the, this this great big thing that we live on which is a planet and um that's the way it goes <laughs> so to be able to be honest i think and, and vulnerable and open and to be treated with respect and and to be honored in that space that was that's just very valuable i think for anybody so would you recommend this program to other people? And if so, why? Yes, um, because I think it gives you an opportunity to actually untangle and put to bed some of the stuff that you've been playing with for years. So I think I mentioned to you before, CBT, which was you know heralded to be the great saviour of the humanity um, and has now transpired to be actually not that, it's very much about dealing with symptoms, but it doesn't deal with the cause. Um, and this, for me, was about dealing with the cause of, of some things that were going on in my life. So I've been able to go back, find out what that cause was, deal with that. And now those those feelings are much different to they were before we started. So I've got a much calmer stable that's not the right word but an, e an easier ride let's put it that way mm. because there aren't as many road bumps we've been able to make some quite big sort of transformational shifts then because of this and how you were looking at life or certain situations I think I was kind of stuck in a lot of emotional stuff from the health stuff that's been going on for the last three years and because I was so entrenched in the therapy and recovery and all those other things I felt that I should be getting back to work really quickly and one of the things it sort of taught me is that actually I don't need to get back to one need to to get well 
Mm. And then I can get on with the rest of my life. So when these things come up, is to look at them and understand where they're coming from. Because even though I'm a therapist, you know, we're we're like it's a bit like a, a busman's holiday, really, isn't it? But it's like we're the best ones to talk our way out of a situation. Yeah. And not yeah. necessarily address what it is that's that's giving us calls to that. So yes, it's made some fundamental changes in the way that I approach things. And I'm fundamentally a lot more at peace and a lot calmer than I was, which is really good. Um, and when I'm not, you know, when I'm starting to get a bit wound up now, I, and I knew this before, but was pushing myself because I felt I should be doing more, I just go, enough now, mm-hmm. walk away, take some time out, because you're not helping yourself. Right. That's a lesson for us all. <laughs> you're very welcome thank you linda that's really helpful i'm so grateful that you've spent some moments with me to explain all the things that you've experienced on the program so beautifully so and i'm it's very welcome it's wonderful working with you as ever (laughs) 